Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go nine hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone had a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our four agreements. Don't take anything personally. Your truth is personal to you. Your own opinions and point of view reflect your own agreements and are personal to you. It's no one's truth but yours. <laughs> These cards are wild, man. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials up 39, Nasdaq up 15, S&P's up 4, gold contract up $5.50 trading at 1699 an ounce. Silver up 15 cents at $33 an ounce. Platinum up $16 at 1599 an ounce. Copper down four pennies at 364 a pound. Lengthly crude down a buck and a half trading out at 86.37 a barrel. Bonds up five ticks trading out at 150.13. King dollar up 40, uh, 470 ticks at 80.23. Now King dollar folks came off the bottom. You had the wide price spread, accelerated volume. King dollar's on the move. Euro down uh, 97 ticks at 129.71. And the Euro down eight ticks, trading out at 82.39. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, we're at 1413. Spike into the 1422, which was the Monday high. What I expect you're going to see out here, folks, is this. You get jobs Monday tomorrow morning. That's at 8.30. You're going to see this S&P spike into it and fail. You know, we'll see where this baby shakes out. Uh, right now, S&P does want to spike into that high of Monday. Dow Industrials, we look at the Dow. This is what you have with the Dow. We did 600, uh, 609 million shares out here today. Uh, what you have, Dow yesterday did 759 million shares. Um, couldn't hold the price out here yesterday. That's where you get the retest. Uh, lighter volume. Uh, the highs that were generated on Monday were 13,087. Yesterday, you got the 13,089. Today, we closed the 13,074. This is going to spike it. And what a spike specifically means, folks, is this. Well, my definition of a spike. We'll get over it, run it, you know, 50, 100 points, close underneath it, have lighter volume. Because what you got to remember, what you're still going into is that you're going into the downdraft from the 7th of November. Now, let's go over to the NASDAQ composite. Take a look at the composite. Composite out here today is up 15 bucks. We did 1.7 billion versus the 1.8 of yesterday. We get to a price point of 29.89. Yesterday, the high out there was 29.94. The composite also, it's hard to believe, but guess what? It wants to basically get into at least the lows of the spike on Monday morning. And I expect you're going to probably spike it because uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to come down to this jobs number. That's what it's going to come down to. Now, of course, inside the NASDAQ composite, we're going to go right over to Apple. What does Apple do out here today? Apple got to a low, you talk about some price spread, of 518. Now, we did 518, folks. And we did it with 41 million shares. That was going into the low of 45 million. It's still way too much volume going into that low. So you'll be back down to those lows. That's the first part. Second part, it rejects the 518, closed at 547. Now, what you're going to have is this. This is where you always want to put the daily together with the weekly so you understand where everything is at. So if we take Apple and you put this on a weekly, and what you're going to see is that thus far, the week of the first downdraft, which is November 16th, we did 127 million shares. We've already done 112 million shares. So all you need here is 10 million shares tomorrow on Apple. And what you have is this. You have building cause to break the B point of a very large ABC down. That's a 205 point ABC structure on the way down. And you're only 10 the 10 million? Yeah, you're 10, you're, you're, no, you're 15 million shares away from it. We did 41 million today. So what you have here, folks, is this. When you go into a low with higher volume, which on the weekly we're going to have, you're going to go be back to that low. That's the first part. 
It doesn't have to break the low. It doesn't have to be an ABC down, but you're going to go back into it. When you stop right before it, like we did, because we got to 518 today, the low is 505. That is the most dangerous scenario for breaking lows. And what it is specifically is this. Gets down there, doesn't test it. Has an expansion of volume on the weekly, okay? That is saying you're building cause to take out that floor. So we'll, we'll see where that uh, shakes and bakes. But that's how that's set up right now. Now, let's go over King Dollar. We take a look at King Dollar. So we have the dollar is this. Dollar today is 25,000 contracts. We're at 80.22. Um, that expansion there is saying, okay, the dollar's on its way back up to the 81.51 area. You know, we'll see how it gets up to it. Um, this retracement here, you know, we, we were down 15 days in a row. That's a real bottom line. So that, that's quite a bit. You know, we'll see how she gets up to there if she continues with uh, accelerated price as we get up to that level. Uh, we go take a look at the euro. What you have with the euro today? Uh, euro came back and came back hard. Uh, euro came back, uh, couldn't handle that high. So you get three lower highs, two lower lows right now. We're at 129. The euro is going to make stop making its way back to that 126. Bonds. We go over and take a look at the bond market. What we have with bonds? Mm, this she is okay. So bonds out here. Um, 279,000 contracts. That's not enough contracts, by the way, folks, okay? Uh, now, we didn't hit the high, uh, but the bonds are going to need a lot more contracts than 279,000 in order to go break that swing point up there, the 151.10. Um, you know, so we, let's see. So bonds are at 150.13. Yeah, this can test 150. You know, at 150 uh, on the way back down, it's going to need more than 350,000 in order to basically, you know, get to a lower price. You know, but right now, I suspect you're going to build some cars in order to get into that higher price of the 151.10. Now, let's go over to the FTSE in London because these markets are all connected, folks. And what has happened is that the FTSE and the DAX in London, no doubt, um, were given a huge heads up. If you watch those at 11.30 Eastern Standard Time, because that's when they close. So what did the, the FTSE do? Well, what the FTSE did is this. She failed. She's been trying to get over a high in, since September 14th. Um, she has a high volume high spike at September 14th. That number is 59.32. And bottom line, she can't handle it. You know, she, she's come up there four separate times, can't handle it. Now, that is saying that the FTSE, yes, does want to back down and back down dramatically into that 5,600 area, where we're 59. The DAX in Germany, different ball game. So this is what the DAX in Germany did out here today. The DAX in Germany got over its high. And when we take a look at this, baby, what you have is that now it was lighter volume, but it didn't reject price. So if you want to see just... You know, we talk a lot about high volume lows and high volume highs. If you want to see how a high volume high gets tested and that's where it wants to go, well, here's the DAX right now. The DAX, 74.78 was the high volume spike. That was generated on September 21st. The DAX pulled back for two and a half months. Well, today it got over that high. It closed at 75.34. 75, oh, that's interesting. Okay, we haven't hit it yet. 75, 7, no, 70, we have, we're over it. 74, 78, we're at 75, 35. Okay, so watch what happened. We're over it with 138 million versus 277 million. So the way that works is this. You can get over a swing high or swing low, in this case with lighter volume, and you can continue higher, no doubt. What does happen is this. You'll see a failure, and once you close back under the 7478 then get out of the way because you'll see the, the very fast acceleration right down to the other side um, that DAX out there today is one of the reasons that when I was watching the Dow Industrials even yesterday knowing that okay the Dow wanted to test it the DAX was also saying guess what it's gonna drag it up there now what are we coming into we're coming into Jobs Friday, the most deviant thing the market could do, which is what? Is spike all those highs. You spike the high, you run it up there, and then it's over. And the 
where the information is going to come out, folks, is coming out right now, actually, in the dollar and in the euro. Because you can definitely make the case. Steve was just came in right before I started and says, you know, I, I, the, the, the euro imploded. I gave you the euro imploded. What happened to the market? We're going to be right back. You've